Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I'm going to introduce you to three mobile applications which can calculate sample sizes for you. These three applications you can see on the top of the screen. The first one is simple sample size calculator. The second one is the sample size calculator and the third one with the name evaluate. You can use each of these three applications for the sample size calculations for different kinds of uh, situations or tests. As you people know that it is very difficult, especially for those who have little knowledge of uh, statistics to calculate the sample sizes using uh, formulas. Here we have three applications shown on top of the screen which can help you in calculating the sample sizes. In today's videos, I am not going to explain the statistics behind the calculation of the sample sizes. In this video, I am only showing the applications that can help you calculate the sample size. So the first application here shown is simple sample size calculator with a P like symbol which is also called as rho. So this is the application I'm talking about. Now click on this app. When you open this application, it will provide you with three panels. The first panel here is for the student's t-test for which you can calculate the sample size. If you swipe to the left side with your finger, you will see the test of proportions. And the third one is the sample size calculation for the log rank test. Each of these panels have different parameters. You will have to select the values for each of those parameters. For example, here in the student's t-test, the first parameter they have given is whether the test is one-sided or two-sided. The default value here they have selected is two-sided. You can just tap on this two-sided and you can select one-sided. The next option here is one or two sample. You have two samples or one sample. The third one is type 1 error and so on. So you can set the values uh, and then at the end, the second last option if you see is the total sample size. This one you can see is the uh, calculated sample size which is 28 here. So for the above values, the sample size will be 28. Now go to the second one, the same options here and the sample size here they have calculated is 116 and here in the third one the sample size is 88. So this was the first application. Now let's come to the second application sample size calculator. Click on this one. Here the panel is very simple. Uh, they have only shown three parameters here. First is population, second is confidence interval, and the third one is precision. So you can just put these three values and then click on calculate button. Your sample size will be calculated here. They say it is 409. However, if you want to fine tune, then you will have to go to the advanced parameters shown here. Click on that advanced parameters. This panel will be opened here. You can see the uh, effect design effect and this one is the you can just click on the question mark here next to each of the options for example here response rate the rate of people you expect will respond here the range is 0 0.01 to 1 so the default value is set to 0.9 this one is design effect the design effect adjusts for variance due to the cluster design. Range is 1 to 2. Default value is 1 here. So you can see each of these values and then you can calculate the sample size. Let's go to the third application. Evaluate. Just click on this. Here it provides three options. The first one is for sample size calculation. The second is for power calculation. And the third is for effect size calculation. So here the first option is sample size calculation. You can just open it by tapping it. 
the first option here they say is type of test is the variable binary or continuous you can tap here and you can select whether it is binary or continuous the second option under the main title type of test is one sided or two sided test you can just click on it and select the type of test then you have sample sizes ratio between treatment and then power and significance effect size you can select between different values for example 0.05 clustering apply clustering whether you want it or not attrition so the sample size it has calculated for these values is 4947 for intervention group and the same value is for the comparison group now for example you change the attrition value do you want to factor in sample attrition yes the sample size now has increased and let's see the effect of this minimum detectable thing and let's change it to 0.1 and see the sample size has now decreased similarly you can change different values and see the effect on the sample size second one is the power calculation you can select different values and you can see what is the power so continuous one side sample size for intervention group is for example 1000 for this group it is 1000 5 effect size 105 so the power achieved is 29.9% change the effect size to 0.1 now you will get 72% of power if your effect size is 0.1 the third is for the effect size calculator continuous your sample size is 1000 1000 so it has calculated the effect size which is 1.111 so these were all the three applications for sample size power size calculation let me show you the first application again the simple sample size calculator it has also the option for power calculation so this is the option that you can change and see uh, that it can also calculate you power so just click and see the first option here is the power you can also calculate power with this uh with this application so that was all for today thank you for watching bye